guys doing and welcome back today we are going to be doing this huge long haul when i say huge long haul i really mean more than that but we're going to be talking about things that i brought and things that i also received from companies but more of the stuff that i have is the things that i bought with my own money so we're going to dish down and I always i'm going to start with a first things that i brought before you guys continue watching this video make sure you hit that subscribe button to follow me and make sure you get updated for my videos and also don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and now let us stop rambling and get on with the haul sephora is one of my favorite sites to shop from because i always save money and i save money using ebates ebates is something popular that i know everybody have been using you don't only use ebates to shop makeup you can use it to shop clothing if you go on ebates and you have a store that you normally shop on just type in the store it'll pop up if it doesn't pop up that means they're not in collaboration with ebates but sephora is and they always have cash back eight percent five percent depending on what you're looking for so i do have a link for my my ebates uh, invite link if you guys are interested plus you do get a ten dollar free gift card to make on your first purchase on any other store that's affiliated with ebates now i'm going to show you all these goodies i did a little bit of damage in sephora um there were a couple of things i wanted i actually ordered some stuff on my birthday because um i wanted to get the birthday gift thing that they give you you know when you buy something through your birthday month they do give you a little gift the thing that i actually got that gave me the little gift was the urban decay spectrum eyeshadow palette it has 15 eyeshadows in there i wanted this palette for the longest but i really didn't want to spend the 56 or 55 dollars for it luckily it was on sale on sephora for 29 dollars and i think it's still on the site so this is how it looks like it looks like this such a gorgeous packaging you can tell something to me that's horrible and I will get it if the packaging is on point. This packaging is amazing and so is the eyeshadows. The eyeshadows are kind of jewel toned. My type of thing. I need to start doing more looks and I need to like dig into this pack. If you guys do have this pack and you want to see looks in it, make sure you leave a comment down below so I can do that kind of video for you guys. Then I later went back and did some more damage when the Huda Beauty liquid lipsticks came out and those came out like maybe two three weeks ago so I brought two colors I can spend twenty dollars on Huda and I can spend twenty on Kat Von D I'm gonna start buying Kat Von D because that's literally the only high-end lipstick that I haven't touched this color is called Spice Girl oh my god it's pretty it's not like it it's not like it looks like it is a pretty color like look at that that's gorgeous and you guys i love the packaging like i don't think i'm gonna take it out of the packaging it's probably gonna be in the packaging like this it's so so cute. and the next color is called uh trophy girl yeah trophy wife actually so that's like a nice mauvey pink these two colors are my colors like i i picked the right colors like dead on point if you guys want me to do a first impression on these let me know and they do have a, a strong scent to them so we're gonna see about that i really don't care about scents on on products then i also got some smashbox always on liquid lipsticks um i don't have a liquid lipstick that is bold so i decided to go with bold colors this time around this color is called blast off it's like a coral pinky color the doe foot applicator is kind of weird and like oval shaped doe foot applicator and this is actually quite creamy it's not like a liquid form and as you guys can see that's like pretty bright like i'm probably not gonna wear this right now because of you know fall is coming in or i might wear it before fall run like comes in so that i can actually get some use out of it the next color is called chocoholic it's just like a bright pink and it's not like like really crazy pink it's still wearable so that color right there is chocoholic it's really really beautiful and these are actually the most expensive liquid lipsticks ever because these are $24 they're not $20 like the Huda Beauty one but I've always wanted it and I didn't want to spend so much money so when I got my birthday money I decided to get it so I can you know try it out the next thing I got is the Too Faced totally cute palette I haven't even opened this at all none of the items I've tried I just like have been like stocking all this just for the video it's kind of weird but I have used 
some items that I'll talk about yeah that I, I couldn't wait to use them this is so pretty it's like all pink and then the thing about this is that you get stickers so you get two sheets and then it's totally up to you to decorate it the way you want it to look like so I really like the concept and it also has a pamphlet that I guess that is for if you want to know how to create looks if you guys want me to do a tutorial on this palette let me know it's fairly new so if you guys want me to do a tutorial just either leave a comment down below or and also thumbs up i got a beauty blender and instead of getting pink and black which i already had um i brought the purple one because i kind of broke my pink one i broke it in half while trying to wash it i was washing it like really roughly and it broke into two so i got the purple one then i got my birthday gift they gave me the Marc jacobs it's called mark the moment it's supposed to have a lipstick a mini lipstick and an eyeliner so this is how the lipstick is really tiny lip the color is actually like a natural color that i know everybody's probably gonna wear it's wearable it's called kiss kiss bang bang so that's the color right here it's really really pretty like it's like every day someone else can wear it i can wear it if you're lighter than me you can wear it and then came with a black eyeliner that you can actually roll up that's actually quite cool and i want to see how black this is yeah it's pretty black so that's the black liner that came i shopped like maybe three times with sephora so i got like this lancome sample it's like a energy dv it's a max which i want to try i love max so i want to see if that's something that i might want to get in the future so it's a good way to try stuff out then i got the cover effects mattifying primer i already love this and i already have like four samples so that's almost equivalent to a full size and um, i'm probably gonna get the full size when i'm done with the samples but i really like them so nostrum was having their anniversary sale and i decided to take advantage of some of the deals they had because they were like two like ridiculous to pass off so i wanted to try the sigma matte they had a deal whereby if you got the sigma matte you also get the f is it f 59 or f80 kabuki brush actually so you get that for free for 34.50 which is almost a 50 dollar value value so i thought like what the heck get it so it looks like this you get the express matte here and then you also get the brush so that's quite cool i can't wait to use it so this is one of the items that i've been wanting to like open but i didn't open it's the mara badescu skincare enzyme pleasant gel i needed a new uh cleanser for my face because the cleanser that i use the derma e purifying cleanser i don't know where they sell it so i didn't buy it again i just wanted to try something new and since i'm already familiar with mara badescu and i love their rose water sprays i decided to like you know try this out and plus it was 25 bucks for the 16 fluid ounce of their enzyme gel and it's this big and then plus you get the smaller size which is this big so i'm gonna try this out it's a 38 dollar value I could not pass that up at all. Plus, they were having this Lorac deal whereby you get this new palette by Lorac. It's called the Refined Romance Eye and Cheek Palette. This was like one of the biggest deals I've ever got on Nordstrom. It was $18, like literally. This is how it looks like. It's so pretty, the packaging. And then plus, you have six shadows. I think these two are highlighters, not just one. And then this is the blush. And then these shadows are so beautiful. You could even use this as an eyeshadow. Like for me, it's very pigmented. So the other thing I got that literally looks like it's empty is the Brow Studio by Anastasia Beverly Hills. So basically you get the brow stick. It's somewhere else, but you guys can see the picture here. It's like a spoolie and an angle brush. Then you get the thick brow pomade in your choice of dark brown, medium brown, and ash brown or something. It was like five different choices. So I picked dark brown because it's more natural. So I got that and then I got the brow gel in the kit. It was like, I think a $50 value and I got it for $38 or something. I think that was the deal. So yeah, I really, really actually like the deal. I wanted to get the deal because of the brush 
and for the fact that I wanted a different pro made that was not too intense like the ebony color. Macy's had their Black Friday sale way, I mean, I'm telling you about a month ago. So that's how long I've been keeping these items. I know it's ridiculous, but well, it is what it is. So I got a couple of stuff and stuff that were not in the sale. Um, I actually passed by Clinique and I was asking them about what was their best foundation that's full coverage that doesn't, that won't break me out and that is all free. And they told me to try the Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer. This is how it looks like. The shade matched me perfectly. My shade was 23 Ginger for reference if anybody has my skin tone. So that's how it looks like. It is pretty much like, if you open it, it actually has like a little big like lip wand. So that kind of is like, okay. I just want to see how that works. It was really not expensive, like $27. It's a cheaper high end that I've ever tried. So it's really promising. I haven't used it on at all. If you guys do want to see me do a first impression on this, please let me know. Because I know Clinique caters uh, for every shade. Like seriously, they have really dark shades. They have super light shades. So it would be an interesting thing to kind of do a first impression on. I got some lippies from anastasia i got their liquid lipsticks they were 10 bucks and they had some of the brightest shades ever which prompted me not to think about it but i wanted to try their liquid lipsticks forever and i still was iffy about 20 dollars on a liquid lipstick but i got this color in retro coral like a bright coral and i actually wore this and it looked great and i got another shade in electric coral so it is more wearable than the first one because it's a little darker, but it's bright nonetheless. So I would say this is more of a summer color and this is more of a spring. Plus I got some items from MAC. Um, I got a lipstick. It's called Men Love, Men Love Mystery. I think this color reminds me of one of the old collection the reason why i got it because it reminds me of ruby boy from mac so it reminded me of ruby boy and plus it's mac this one is called world this is not because of kylie jenner make no mistake about it i just had seen this lipstick on so many people and i felt that this is like one of the gorgeous like universally flattering colors on everybody and it is like a brownie pink nude i got this lip liner that I think she also co-signed too. It's called Soar. It's like a very nice... If you're wearing a lighter pink, this would be really good to go under it. Or the same color. It's like an everyday kind of nudey pink. So I could actually line my lips with this and I'll be good. Like literally just have this all over my lips and be on my merry way. So Urban Decay also was having their own sale at Macy's and literally, I'm so silly. Like... I should have brought like 10 of these, but that would be stupid. This was only six bucks, and this is their perversion liner. It's like super black, like ridiculously black, and it's like one of my favorite liners ever, and it doesn't want to come out. I'm going to show you guys how it looks like. It looks like this. Uh, I can't wait to use this. Like, I have liquid liners that I'm using at the moment, so I don't want to open this at all, but it's one of my favorite liners to do my wing liner with. It's so, so dark and like really dark. Smashbox also had their sale. These little travel sides that are normally like $14, $15 were $8. Bucks. And I wanted to try the Photo Finish Foundation Primer. It's pore minimizing and I really love things that decrease my pores so I was like I have to try this out before I get the full size because the full size is $42 and I'm not about that life it better work first before I venture out and decide that I want to get it then I also got their primal water because it's so freaking hyped up this was eight dollars as well so as i said they were having a sale so i got this for eight bucks normally fifteen dollars it's one fluid ounce which is great amount for me to try out and see if it's like something i should buy because it's like 32 dollars and i'm like water for 32 dollars like literally i can put water in a spray bottle and spray it all over my face and i'll call it a primer water but let's see if this stuff really does the work and then we can talk about spending that money so my camera died again on me because of course i'm busy rambling and rambling okay let me continue with my haul when i brought my clinique purchase if you spent 27 dollars which was on the mark you get this free goodie bag so you get free stuff with a purchase i had like five items they gave me they gave me the take the day off makeup remover for lids lashes and lips 
really really great especially if i'm using liquid lipstick this would be really really good and they also gave me the dramatically different moisturizing lotion it's for very dry to dry combination so this is perfect for my skin type and then we also have the foaming facial soap really really great i can't wait to use this with my chlorisonic and then you get the clinique high impact mascara and then this is one of their random uh, i call it random lipstick it's their long last lipstick in bamboo pink now this color i would not use it like literally i'm not even gonna bother to swatch it i'm gonna put it in my giveaway bag like i have a giveaway bag stash that i'm putting away for you guys but you guys saw the color it's like a frosty color and yeah that's not my forte but i'll put that in my giveaway bag but these ones i'm so excited to try all four of these items now we're gonna move to other miscellaneous like indie brands and other stuff we're gonna keep it pushing so i wanted to buy some lime crime lippies and let's not knock on lime crime or anything i have brought stuff for them and i've never got my account hacked i've never got money taken from me nothing happened all is well in the world of lime crime i got three velveteens i actually love their liquid lipsticks they're actually one of my favorites i'm still coming up with my liquid lipstick video so please guys be patient with me um, I really do love their liquid lipsticks. I got three shades and one of them is Wicked. It's like a really dark red. And it's something that I would wear all year round. So yeah, this color is really pretty. And it's even going to be prettier on fall. And then I got it in Beat It. Beat It! Beat It! Except that there is no A and there's an E. So it's like when you eat your beets, that's what it is so that's the color it's super pretty and riot is such a gorgeous color like this color ah uh, for days i could wear this every day but i think that i might have to line my lips with this because it looks more wearable but it's not too bright it's like a peachy it's like a deep peachy nude so it's more peachy oh i forgot to tell you guys um my artiste circle brush came in so i love it i feel like there's a difference between the dupe when i did my dupe video than when i did with this so it looks more tougher it's actually tougher and it blends better so this is how it looks like i know it's 35 dollars but i'm not gonna tell you to get it i got the ColourPop ultra metallic lip if you guys want my review on these please let me know because i do have a lot to say about this and i'm pretty much you know what you guys are probably gonna know that i would say you guys that have the product so yeah i got five of them and i got one in flitter this one is like a pink duochrome with orange and yellow i think i'm gonna swatch like this so you guys can see the color because my skin is a little lighter there so you guys can actually see the contrast i feel these would go great on the on the lid to me i swear to god i feel like i would enjoy these better if i put them on my lid and then this one is called three way three way is another purple mauve color has a lot of green shimmer in it it's really pretty i mean the color i mean the payoff is not bad and i like the dual chrome effect of it this one is called man eater i think this one is like everybody's favorite it's like a brown or a light brown or a light nude copperish color looks like copper this one is called queen it's like k-w-e-e-n it's a darker copper it's like a bronzy it's more has more red in it to me so i'm actually just like slanting my swatches looks kind of weird the last one is called zebra zebra uh, this one more like a plummy color but they're quite similar together these two so i'll pick one but they look a little slightly different the next thing i got were some items i got from lena lashes i wanted to try their lashes and i got six of these and i'm glad i got them because i have them on now and they're so super stunning you guys have probably seen me use them on my videos i brought them for when they had their deal for is it six for 30 so i got each of these for five bucks yeah so it's a really good deal and they're really really amazing like seriously then i got their liquid lipsticks there are more than matte liquid lipsticks they were only i think six bucks so i had to get a lot of them and i already have seven that i already have right now so i decided to get more this one is called jason it's a really really beautiful 
dark plummy color now this one is called liam liam is a dark purple i love this color it's so beautiful on this one is called guy that's the color i'm actually wearing right now it's so pretty it's like an everyday color this one is called tyrese it's like a wearable pink that has a little bit more fun to it you can wear it like every day so yeah i like that one a lot this one is called kevin it's like a muted lavender or it's like a muted pink that's bright it reminds me of saint germain that's more wearable so it's like a very dumbed down kind of lavender pinkish color this one is called idris idris is like one of the colors that a lot of the models wear and i want to try it out yeah so this color is really pretty it's like a bright i would say it's an orange with blue base it's like it's still blue base but it's like a very nice red that's bright in the face i also got the ofra cosmetics rodeo drive highlighter this highlighter has been hyped about i purchased it on august 8th or 9th i think that's when it launched and this highlighter is beautiful like seriously it was like 35 dollars and then i used a coupon code and i got it for like 24 dollars with shipping so this highlighter is really bomb i actually have it on this is like my first time of using it today and i love this highlighter like seriously juvie's place recently launched their new masquerade palette and you guys know i love bright things and i don't even know why i've been doing neutral looks i need to start doing more fun looks so this pa palette inspired me and i decided i was gonna get it because i wanted to do a couple of looks i know you guys would appreciate that it is super huge first comparison to the other pack that i have the one that is the the nubian 2 palette this one is way huge and it is the same size as the other palette the nubian 2 one so but you get 16 shadows instead of 12 and these are all fun shades i like the fact that the first eight are bright shades and then the last eight are neutrals yeah so these shades are really amazing like i'm not gonna say anything too much because i am doing a review on this but i'm gonna give you a little taste of pigmentation i'm gonna swatch this like purple shade and i'm gonna let you guys be the judge and yeah this shade also i forgot about the pink box melt cosmetics okay they were having um a sale for their lip national lip day lipstick day or something so their sale was like 20 percent off or 30 percent off i think off lipsticks so i decided to take advantage because i don't have anything from melt cosmetics so this is gonna be my first purchase ever and i'm glad with the purchase i haven't tried it the lipsticks out i think i just swatched them but i haven't put them on um this is how the packaging looks like pretty sleek and cute and i'm gonna swatch the shades this one is called laced i hope i can get my swatch on point because my swatches be wonky so that's how it looks like i hope that's translating on camera the next one is called Liu. so it's l-e-w-e-d so this one actually is a fairly new shade it's like a purple and you guys know i love purple like i know you guys get sick of me buying purple but this is a different purple it's a purple with a blue duochrome undertone so it's like a little bit of metallicness but not so metallic i would still say this is not really a metallic we're gonna talk about wet and wild wet and wild was having their 30 percent off sale so i need to like stock up on their brushes because after sampling the ones i got from dollar store i decided to get the ones that i couldn't get on the dollar store i got the flat top brush i got like three of these then i also got the small stipple brush i also got the blush brush and then i got the powder brush and then i got the small eyeshadow brush i got the large stippling brush so i have the small and the large and then i also got the smoky liner brush i also got the color icon poster child palette and this is like a really bright palette i'm not gonna open this because um for time constraints i also got the geometric highlighter um i was really a little bit disappointed with this pigmentation wise um it's not bad if you don't want to spend money on, on a decent highlighter um this actually is not as pigmented as i thought it's not like the highlighters that they had for their spring or summer collection those are way pigmented these are not that this one is called um desert explorations this one was called sun Sem ceremony 
So this one is more if you are lighter skin. I think this one will work well. Yeah, it has like a pinky undertone to it. So it's really, really light. Like, I don't know if you guys can see that. My swatch is a little wonky. I really don't like that on my skin. So I might give it to somebody else, you know. And then I got their setting spray. So this is how it looks like. It's called their Photo Focus Setting Spray. And it's like 1.5 fluid ounces. I can't wait to try this out because I've heard so many good things, but I really want to see it for myself. I also got the Ombre Blush. Pretty impressed with it. It has like different levels of sheen. This actually shines more like a highlighter. I don't know why my swatches are so wonky. Yeah, so that's how that one looks like. It actually looks more like a highlighter to me. Then I also got their liquid lipstick in Coming Up Roses. It's their metallic liquid lipstick. Let me just swatch it so you guys can see. It looks a little patchy, but we'll see how this translates on the lips. Finally, I got another blush. This one is called Fantastic Plastic Pink. Isn't that like a weird name? Maybe I should turn my hand this way so the swatches actually look like swatches. So yeah, that one actually looks way much better. So got a bunch of stuff from Bath & Body Works. So much goodies to show you guys. So I got this for my husband. I got him the Midnight for Men. It smells absolutely fab fabulous. I smelled the perfume and I loved it. And I wanted to get the body wash for him. And then I also got the Pina Colada candle. This absolutely is amazing. Like delicious. Oh, I can't get over the smell. The smell is so amazing. I mean, if you like fruity candle scents, this will be like something I need you to get. It smells ridiculous. And then I got the Be Joyful body wash. This one smells really good. I made sure I smelled all the sprays before I got the actual uh, shower gel. And then I got the Shea body cream. So it's the same scent as the one I talked about and it's just in body cream form. Then I got Sensual Amber. Sensual Amber is really like smells amazing like crazy. And then we also got Sweet Pea. Sweet Pea is a light scent. Um, I think the notes are Shea Fragia and Watery Pear. So this one smells really good. And then Cherry Blossom. I got it because I already have Cherry Blossom and I got the hand. So this will be so amazing. To clean your hands i really really love this a lot then i got vanilla so sorbet also in the hand soap smells delicious like i'm scared to put these in the toilet because i feel my kids are gonna eat it because of how well it smells and then i also got the be joyful body spray let me even remind myself how this smells like oh yeah this smells really good that's why i got it so this one smells amazing and then i also got golden pineapple luau this one smells good they also have a candle for this but this smells really good and then the last two things i got were antibacterial hand gels and these ones are always what i get all the time because i always put this in my bag this one is in poolside punch which is absolutely delicious like literally if i didn't know what this was antibacterial i probably would have eaten this and this one is called watermelon lemonade like the name also says everything that i love in food then we're gonna talk about this huge bag and i do have more bags of it i just have it scattered there from victoria's secret they were having a new perfume that they recently launched it's called crush this beautiful perfume smells amazing if you guys haven't gotten your hands on it make sure you get your hands on it and when i got it they were having an absolute fabulous deal they were giving out free bag a free lip gloss and a free body lotion so it's a full size body lotion in the same scent i also got the bag like seriously this bag is so cute and literally this bag can be used to go out like seriously i think it was designed to be a cosmetic bag but hell no this is gonna be a bag that i'm gonna use when i go out the lip gloss is like this i'm gonna put this in my giveaway bin because i do not wear lip glosses for the life of me especially sheer ones plus i got a bag for spending a certain amount of money so you get this big bag like this like this 
can use this to travel. You don't want to, you know, carry a big luggage. You can just put this as your hand luggage. It's really, really huge. Like, look at that. Really big. And then they were also having all panties for $5 for $27.50. Normally, it's their cotton panties that are that price. But this time around, they had literally almost every panty for that same price. So I got me a bunch of panties. Like, seriously, I know this is like my first time ever showing underwear. But this is sexy underwear. So you guys can actually see. And this is like pink with like cheetah print zebra kind of spots and then i got this lavender one this is such a cute color like seriously really really cute and i haven't worn these or anything so you guys don't be scared this is another underwear this is like a t-shirt type of underwear and then this one is dream angels like really gorgeous and it's like see-through on the back this one this is body by Tour. it's like the other la lavender one that i showed it's like a really Great olive green I love olive green like really crazy now and then this is another t-shirt type of underwear it's actually called a hipster so I love hip anything hip huggers anything hipster or cheap. I'm not a fan of thongs I don't wear thongs for the life of this is another uh, body by Victoria it's like a nice burgundy shade and then we have this like in a very blue printy color really gorgeous I like this one I brought this easy bra this is like their new easy bra that they have going on so they had this for 25 dollars when they when they launched it so now it's full price but when they launched it this is how much i got it for and it was like it's really nice so it's like a bra that you can wear on a daily basis that doesn't have wires but this one gives you support because it has push-ups so and you guys know i'm all about that push-up life but then i got this um dream angels um uh, it's like Dream Angels underwear, the the burgundy one, and then I got it in the olive green as well. Dream Angels underwear, it's like a mint green. People say that mint looks good on my skin tone, so I had to like follow through. And then I also got some gym pants. These are like really nice for working out, so I decided I was going to get another one because these came, I think they came free with a sport bra that I brought, but it's really, really nice for working out. I went to the pink store, which is also Victoria's Secret, but it's separated from our mall, so it's in the mall, but not in the same location as where I work. And I got some underwear. These are just regular cotton panties. Um, then I got these ones. These are like taupey color. This is like really, really pretty. And I think I got it in blue too. So this is how the blue looks like. But they cover my butt, which I like. And this is like a nice one in burgundy. My haul from Victoria's Secret would not be complete if I didn't get body care items. So I got me their new body scrub because they have a new scent. It's called Cloudberry, which smells absolutely amazing. I got it in the Smoothening Scrub. Then I also got the Ultra Rich Body Wash in Cloudberry. And then I also got two of the washes and one of the lotions. And I also got more, but those are for my sister, so I'm not going to show you that. I actually received this big box, surprisingly, from OGX. They sent me a whole new set of items that they recently launched for hair care. They sent me their Weightless Oil and Lifting Tonic. It is supposed to be... Oh, it's blend with Cloudberry. Isn't that what I just opened just now? oh really i need to try this and besides it looks like it's like divided into two colors i think when you shake it you have to shake it up or something to get the full effect it says shake well to activate so i was right on that and you got the renewing argan oil of morocco volumizing mousse i actually have the spray of this so i'm glad to try the mousse and then they have this argan oil of morocco miracle in the shower oil and then they have the moroccan surf paste okay is this a leave-in conditioner or what what is this uh oh, oh it's oh it's for twisting and sculpting so this will be good if you're doing like twist outs or something like of that nature and then they gave me the coconut water shampoo and the conditioner as well then makeup forever came with the lowdown they recently launched their new artiste lipsticks they have like a lot of lipsticks in the collection but they sent us the six of it and these are the colors i am gonna be doing a video for these so i'm not gonna show you swatches you guys are gonna have to wait but I will show you how they look. They look like this in this little tube. And then um, they are like this. So they really have a different particular shape to the lips. So it's going to be interesting to actually do a review of these. But then Pure Cosmetics sent me a big box. And it's called uh, Love Your Selfie 2. They sent this box so specially. You get a selfie light. Let me show you how the selfie light works. Basically, you press this. 
you can attach this to your phone and then take selfies and then it has three levels of brightness and this is the brightest level so this is so cute i really appreciate them for setting me this this is how the actual product looks like it's in this big box you have eight shadows in here eight shadows this is supposed to be a highlighter i think this is a blush and this is a contour powder and then plus i'm trying not to drop the things in there and this is like a very nice lip gloss the shadows are actually yeah they're actually good at pigmentation yeah like look at that they're really pigmented i want to see the pigmentation of the lip gloss it's actually quite it's like a really nice decent pigmented lip gloss and this little item here is supposed to be a velvet matte lip and it's a little bit close to the shade of the lip gloss oh it's actually quite creamy it's not like as like dry as i thought it would be this is actually a pretty color I like this color and then the final thing is the mascara which I'm just gonna leave in there then because of the video I did recently on the wonder brow one step brow step brow gel they actually contacted me and were like interested in me redoing another review for them because they launched a different shade I don't know if it's because of my video or it's because of every video that's been out there but they decided they were gonna come out with a jet black and this is like as black as you can get I'm really scared to try this I will do another take two first impression let me know if you guys want to see it we'll see if I can be convinced to give this a 10 because they wanted me to because they knew I gave them a 7.5 but we'll see if this goes up to a 10 when I retry this again on eBay I wanted to try this color cleaner because I've heard so much things about the color switch I want to try this out and see if this is an amazing product some other items that I received I received um, a new product from Strivectin it's called their repair and protect moisturizer it has SPF 30 and it's supposed to reduce visible signs of aging so we're gonna test that out from Octolia I actually got the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge and I got the four set so they gave me this to review try out I already did a review on this but it's really amazing so I know my opinions when I had this long time ago if you're interested in Octolia I do have a link down below if you want to sign up for my fellow youtubers out there that are interested in trying out products get a great stuff Derma E my favorite company ever they always send me stuff they sent me their new hydrating night cream with hyaluronic acid so i'm interested in trying that out because i heard that 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 ingredient is really good for the skin and it helps with uh aging and all that good stuff and then octoli gave me um they gave me the corez it's like a lipstick with a lip liner i'm actually gonna open this up it's like a lipstick and lip liner duo so it it goes by skin color so I guess they purposely sent me this color because I was supposed to pick a color so this is called natural purple which they were right on the mark to send me because I love this color it's actually pretty put it on and I love the color it's really pigmented too and then the lip liner I think is the same color as well the lip liner is actually way lighter I don't know if that's supposed to be the case but this is the lip liner that came with it and then um i also got the Furman dmae moisturizer from derma e so we'll see about that and they gave me a little tiny Furman eye lift cream another company i'm going to talk about is called vanity planet they gave me their spin for perfect skin really awesome i will tell you so much about this in a different video i actually love this more than my clarisonic i do have a coupon code it's tinu and you get 70 percent off and so you literally get this for like 30 bucks i love it so far i'm gonna do a, another video with my skin routine but this is definitely gonna be in there when you open the box the actual brush head the brush uh theme handle and then you have three different um coordinates that you can use you can use the peel mist one for feet and elbows and hard surfaces and this is for the body i haven't used the body one but i've used three of these this is the regular um cleaning brush and this is the exfoliating brush and this is the pumice brush um, a company called matt vanish contacted me it's a company created by a youtuber um they're a company that specializes in uh removing acne and scars so their products are dedicated towards doing that so they sent me their whole kit to try out i haven't tried this for the longest time i've had it with me so i am going to sit down and try it out but I have to watch other people's videos to see how it's used and then I will do a video showing you guys how it's used um, basically you're supposed to do like this put this rolling thing on your face and poke holes in your skin and then you're supposed to put the oil supposed to seep in your skin I know of another YouTube blogger that used it her name is uh, Destiny Gali she had used this before so I want to try it out 
and yeah it's a lot of stuff in here so i'm gonna try this out but it will be on a different video and then i will do an update letting you guys know if it really works or not so guys that's basically it for this video as i did say previously that this video is long and i wasn't joking like it's really really long and i hope you guys did stay and make it through and had your coffee while you were watching me or your drink because i know you were tired of me talking but anyway we got through this together okay thank you guys so much for your love and support if you are new to my channel again make sure you hit that subscribe button and if you love this video make sure you thumbs up and don't forget to share to your favorite friends maybe they're interested in some of the things that i brought thank you guys so much for everything and i'll see you in my next video bye